Hey everyone, Alan Lee here with Honestly Handyman Services out of Sacramento, California. Today I just wanted to talk with you a little bit about how to start a handyman business. And not only a handyman business, but a successful handyman business. <clears throat> and with that, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of my story. So, I started my handyman business um, last September, um, and it's now almost, it's, it's November. <laughs> right, got to remember what month it is. So it's November, so I started it, you know, um, a little over a year ago. Um, I started out doing it part-time, uh, did it in the evenings. I had a full-time job. I was actually an auto mechanic. I'm a, a fully trained and certified auto mechanic. <clears throat> well, was. I don't do that no more. Um, so I was doing that. I I did that for about seven years um, after high school. Um, and then I started doing handyman, business, handyman services um, in the evenings of my day job and man I just absolutely fell in love with it it is uh, absolutely crazy how it happened so um, we were told by people in my my wife has a stay-at-home business and um, we were told by people in that business that we need to go see this uh, this woman speak who does business seminars and we kept giving some excuse oh we can't afford it we can't afford it we can't afford it and then finally after probably a year of them asking us to go um, we finally went. We, we bought the tickets. We could afford them, um, but I wanted to figure out a way to make extra income for our family. Uh, so what I did is I made up a little little flyer. It was a horrible flyer, absolutely horrible graphics. Um, printed it out on my printer um, and shared it all over Facebook, and it was basically just advertising handyman services to people in our area. And, um, you know, it was, it was amazing. I got so many calls for handymans, and so I just I started doing it. And I, man, I fell in love with it. And it, what, what the crazy thing was, I was making more money in the evenings than I was all day at my day job. Uh, kind of insane. Um, and really what, what called me to do it was I just felt, people told me that there was such a need for someone who was honest and worked with integrity and actually showed up on time, did the work that they said they were going to do and did it right. And I'm like, well, I can, you know, I can, I can meet that. So, um. So it's funny. So we ended up going to this business seminar. Um, it was uh, it was last year sometime. I think it was in September. No, it was in October. Yeah, October of last year. We go to this business seminar, and it's crazy. She started, She's talking about business. She's talking about finances. She's talking about personal life. And it just totally gave me um, just whatever to start my business. Like It gave me just the, the desire to start this business. So I ended up starting my business. Well, I had been doing it, you know, for about a month before that. Um, and then um, business was kicking off. It was doing great, doing awesome. Got my license, got, you know, insurance, everything like that. Um, and then I, me and my wife, we were talking about it, and I made the decision that I wanted to do this full time. And, man, that was a crazy time in our life because, um, yeah, it, it came up where I had to make the decision whether to stick with my day job, which was a guaranteed check or leave that and go on business on my own which who knows I mean that wasn't necessarily guaranteed right so that was a little scary so we made the decision um, with a lot of prayer of course and we made the decision to leave my job uh, I left my job December 30th of 2016 and started this business my handyman business full-time January 1st 2017 that's this year um, so I haven't been doing it full-time even a year yet um, but man, I am loving it, and it, it's crazy. You know, I had a I had a day one plan. You know, because I was so nervous. I'm like, I gotta come up with something. So I came up with a day one plan, and my plan was to go around door to door and pass out business cards <clears throat> and try and get people to hire me. You know, to do handyman work. Because I figured if I knock on ten doors, I mean, there's gonna be one, maybe two people who you know are gonna allow me in and not think I'm crazy, and hopefully allow me to do some work, <clears throat> and that would establish a um, you know, a customer base, but, uh, I was actually talking to my accountant. He said, that, that's, that's not a very good idea. You need to have a more concrete plan. So he says, you should try and at least get one week's of full-time work before you quit your job. So I worked at it, worked at it. And my whole December really was December, 2016 was working. I worked all day at my auto job and then I worked every night and the weekends just to try to establish a good customer base. So during that time, I really did estimates and jobs and stuff and tried to get some work going for January. 
So I started out January 1st with a full week's of work, worth of work. So I thought I was killing it. I had a full week. And uh, then I did that week. And near the end of the week, I was getting a little nervous. Like, what am I going to do next week? And, you know, it just kept coming and coming. And I was booked out for that first week. And then I was booked out for about two weeks. And I was booked out for three weeks. And then I was booked out for a month. And then I was booked out for two months. And then three months. And it was just insane. And then, so about uh, June or July of this year, 2017, I hired an independent contractor to work with me. A good friend that used to work. I met at an auto shop that I worked at before. Um, and when he came along, it was just so great because I could start um, helping people out a lot sooner because it, it just tore me up telling people, well, I'd love to help you out, but I'm booked out for three months. You know, a lot of people didn't want to hear that. Um, so he came on. I, I started giving him a bunch of work in the evenings. Um, so I was working in the day. He was working in the evenings. And we were just killing it. Um, we were knocking stuff out. And then, um, so now I'm currently booked out about a month, uh, which is still a little bit, but he's he's pretty busy too, which is great. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, to say the least, the handyman business is going awesome. It's amazing. And everyone keeps telling me about the slow time, slow time during the winter. Um, I haven't seen it yet, and I don't think I'm going to see it because currently I'm, you know, booked out till about the middle of December. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. And, and again, that's just how I started in this handyman business. So if you guys want to start this, start a handyman business, um, I would say really examine um, just, the, just the market in your area. Um, what I did when I, before I started, when I was still doing it part-time, I called all the handyman in my neighborhood. And the few that would answer, some of them didn't even answer, uh, they, they told me the same thing. You know, really look at the market, look at what you want to get involved in. Um, and they gave me some great advice. Uh, one guy, he was just super helpful. Uh, he actually does handyman just on the other side of town. So we haven't really had any conflict with each other. I I send work to him. He sends work to me. It's super great. Um, but yeah, just just look at your market. See see if it's feasible, which it is in the most of the time. Know the laws, guys. I mean, there is in California where I'm at, they are there is very strict laws on contracting without a license. So if you don't have a contractor's license. Legally, you can only do $500 worth of work, uh, including labor and materials per project. And it, you need to know this. You need to abide by it because I know it's a crazy rule, crazy law, um, and it's probably really hard for California to enforce it. But my name is Honestly Handyman. I got to be legit, right? And that's what I tell people, you know, and when I tell people, hey, I can't do that job. It's over $500. you are going to need to talk to a licensed contractor. They respect me more. Um, just be honest with your customers. Tell them the truth. Tell them if you're like, hey, I don't know how to do that, you know, and you, it might be better to go talk to, you know, a licensed electrician or whatever. Point them in the right direction because customer service isn't always, um, you know, saying yes, 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 but it's, it's directing them to the correct thing that they need. Even if they're not going to buy something from you, good customer service is making sure that that customer is satisfied, even if you got to send them down the road. Um, and then you do that and they're going to come back to you time and time again. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions at all for starting handyman business or what I do or how I got started or a little bit more into that, please leave me a comment below. And I would also love to hear what you do for a living. Um, and if you have ever thought of starting your own handyman business, um, leave me a comment. I would love to communicate with you. Uh, and again, communication is the key to any business really. You got to um, you got to just tell the customer what's going on and keep them informed. Never you know never have a dull moment. So, anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Please click the like button, the thumbs up button, and leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, subscribe to my channel and also share this video. Thank you all so much, and I appreciate you guys every day. Bye bye.